I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenz hier und you're watching Get Germanized. Learn German for Beginners. Deutsch für Anfänger. Lesson 15. In the last lesson we talked about names of rooms in a house. In today's lesson we're gonna take a look at how to express possession in German. As you might know, the genitive or the genitive case is used to express possession in German. But since this is a beginner's lesson, we'll start off simple. Someone might ask you, Wessen Becher ist das? Whose cup is that? You could then answer, Das ist mein Becher. This is my cup. Or, Das ist dein Becher. This is your cup. Some people might not care about hygiene too much and use their Becher together. They would then say, Das ist unser Becher. That is our cup. And if there are two Germans and one cup, you can say, Das ist euer Becher. That is your cup. Do whatever you want with it, just not here. Maybe your girlfriend has a cup too. To express that it belongs to her, you could say, Das ist ihr Becher. That is her cup. If your boyfriend owns a cup, you could say, Das ist sein Becher. That is his cup. Let's recap. Mein, mein, dein, your, unser, our, euer, your, talking about a group, ihr, her, sein, his. Let's practice together. Listen closely and fill in the gaps yourself. This is my cup. Das ist Becher. Mein. This is her cup. Das ist Becher. Ihr. This is our cup. Das ist Becher. Unser. This is your cup. Das ist Becher. Dein. It is also important to think of the gender of the object you're talking about. For a male object such as der Becher, you can use ihr Becher if you want to say her cup. But if it's a female object such as die Schlange, the snake, then you would say ihre Schlange. See, we added an E at the end of ihr. Ihre, ihre, ihre Schlange. And if the object is neutral, such as das Haus, then you would say ihr Haus. Let's have a look at another example. Sein Becher, his cup. Seine Schlange, his snake, sein Haus, his house. Can you see the pattern here? So keep in mind to have a look at the gender of the object you're talking about. That's it for the lesson. Gut gemacht. Well done. As always, don't see this video as the only right answer. Help each other out in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions in the comments as well. In the next lesson of Learn German for Beginners, Deutsch für Anfänger, we'll talk about German lazy speech. You know how you say things like what's up instead of what is up? Well, we get the same kind of things in German. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to learn about the German language and culture on a regular basis. Also make sure to check out all these little networks you can see down there for exclusive bonus content and sneak peeks into my daily life here in Germany. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.